Hey guys, Brandon from Cosmic Comics. Today we're having a look at the uh, Thundercats Minico figures. Uh, today we're having a look at Series 1. Uh, this is the very first series, obviously, and they are all uh, in stock at the moment. So we've got uh, Lino first up. Uh, so we're just going to look at them one by one, see what's on the boxes. So as always, side artwork is epic, uh, very colorful, very vibrant. Uh, on the back it'll show us the other figures that are part of the same series, and it'll also tell us which series it is, which is very important. Because um, a lot of the time, guys jump onto figures too late, and they can only end up getting uh, certain parts of Series 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. But right now, you've actually got the opportunity to start with Series 1 and actually not miss any of the figures, which is which is brilliant, I think. Um, next up, we've got Chitara. So you'll notice this one's actually two figures in one. It's the Chitara, and then the Snarf is a separate piece. What I like about this is you could actually uh, display the Snarf with any of the characters. Obviously, you'd have to buy Chitara and Snarf first, but uh, if you wanted to put him alongside Lino, you could absolutely do that, but I'll show you exactly how that'll work in a sec. Uh, next up here, we've got Tigra. Let's just give him a bit of a spin. I've said this many times before, but guys, I really love the artwork on the side of these boxes. I don't know how you all feel about it, but uh, one really awesome way that I've seen guys some, sometimes display them is they'll actually put the boxes behind the figure with that artwork facing forward, and then they'll actually have the, the figure in front of it. So I think that just from like a display point of view, I think it just makes it really, really look good. So let's check them out one at a time out of the box. So first up, we have Lino color on these figures is crazy they've made them really bright and and vibrant they've also sort of tried to keep the designs as close to the classic cartoons as possible i think that's that's really awesome so they haven't gone too far off track uh, obviously miniko they are made to look a bit more uh, chibi like so like big eyes sort of big heads kind of like the funko pops but uh, like i said they've tried to keep it as sort of as uh, original as possible to the uh, series uh, These are also made out of PVC, so that means they're a type of plastic. Uh, so if it does somehow get knocked off of your shelf, don't stress too much because they're not going to shatter and break into 100 pieces. Uh, just depending on how it falls, obviously uh, the fingers might take a bit of a knock or maybe the hairs on like, on like Jatara's head might take a bit of a bump, but for the most part they should survive a fall. Lastly, we've got uh, Panthro here uh, with these little nunchucks. I'm sure they've got a special name, but it's evading me right now. Cool. So I think let's go ahead and put them all together. Now that we've seen them one at a time, let's actually see what the full set looks like as a whole. I think it's going to be quite cool. So here we have the whole set. Let's give them a bit of a spin. So let's have a look at the back of the figures as well. I think these look really good. Uh, you can display them as a set or as individual pieces, which is uh, quite interesting because some people only buy their favorite characters, so, so not everyone will buy the whole set. Some people only collect, say, a liner, for instance, or maybe they'll get Chitara on, on her own just because it's their favorite. So I think that's that's really cool because you'll notice with the bases, they've actually uh, given them like this weird rock design. So if you want to put it on its own, it's fine, but if you want to put them together, you can form a full diorama. So I think that's uh, it's just an interesting way that... Uh, uh, Minico has actually made these so it gives people a bit more options when they're displaying their stuff you'll also notice with the uh, 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 Snarf's base it's uh, cut out so it actually fits against the the circular bit of the Chitara's base but then again like I said earlier you can display it with any one of these cool so these are available on our website as well as in store uh, we'll just leave a link now in the end of the video so you guys can go check it out if you want to pick them up for your own collections uh, thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and also just give us a bit of a subscribe there if you guys don't want to miss out on future content thanks for watching